Only 24 humans have been to the moon, and no one has been back since 1972. Now, SpaceX has won a contract from NASA to land the space agencies. Astronauts on the moon as part of the Artemis program. It's the first time the space agency has used a human lander built by a private company. The contract is worth 2.9 billion US dollars. It will be used to develop a Starship rocket that can be used on the moon. Elon Musk's SpaceX will develop NASA's first commercial human lander. This will carry the first female to the moon. The human landing system, HLS, designed by SpaceX will carry crew supplies, as well as equipment in the lunar vehicle and the lunar surface during the planned 2024 mission. Astronauts will be launched into orbit by NASA's Space Launch System rocket on the Orion spacecraft. The two crew members will then be transferred to SpaceX's Starship. Then two crew members will transfer to SpaceX's lander for their descent to the lunar surface. After a week exploring the moon they will board the lander to return to Orion and head back to Earth. The company has conducted six suborbital flight tests of the interplanetary spacecraft. This has a spacious cabin and two airlocks for astronauts to moonwalks. If Starship succeeds in returning humans to the lunar surface, it will be the ultimate vindication of the public-private partnership model. NASA selected 18 astronauts last year to train for the moon mission. NASA will gain a lunar lander at a fraction of the cost of the Apollo-era lunar module. The vehicle launches and lands upright. Similar to the way the company's Falcon 9 boosters return to Earth for reuse. SpaceX has been working on Starship for years. By building prototypes and destroying them at a rapid pace for the vehicle's perfect ability to land upright. NASA has also contracted with SpaceX on other projects such as its Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon capsule. This will ferry astronauts to the International Space Station in the coming weeks.